everybody I'm standing on top of a mountain yes Finland has mountains or at least they call them mountains I don't know if this actually really is a mountain but it's called Rihivori and Vori means mountain so basically it's a mountain but I don't really think it's a mountain it is a beautiful day today a little bit windy hope that doesn't affect the audio it's a little bit cloudy but that's just great for me hopefully the light doesn't fluctuate too much now every camera brand has a lineup of their own lenses that work in unison with their cameras but they're a little bit pricey so that's where third-party lenses come in now i know i'm one of those guys there's prejudice against third-party lenses you usually think that they suck somehow they suck the autofocus sucks they're not that sharp there's something that sucks everything sucks about a third-party lens but for years third-party members have proved people wrong like tamron sigma samyang rockinon in some countries and viltrox viltrox being the newest member out there first off trying out with manual lenses and in 2019 coming now with an autofocus lens the 85 millimeter f1.8 now i got that 85 millimeter lens for my canon when it came out the rf version and it was great it had a build quality like a high quality lens it had an autofocus that just snapped onto your target and it felt great using that lens it had an f1.8 that looked awesome on a full frame camera now today i'm talking about the 23 millimeter and it is no different than any other fujifilm lens it has a metallic coating it has a metallic lens hood it has a smooth aperturing that i'm gonna come back just just in a minute and a smooth manual focus ring now the viltrox 13 millimeter is one of the newest lenses that viltrox has made it has an aperturing that has clicks these are older lenses compared to the 13 millimeter and this aperturing is smooth i have kind of a mixed feeling about this because i really like those clicks on the aperturing this smooth ring like it's really smooth is great when you're doing video but i don't see myself using it that much in videos usually i use certain apertures in videos not just i don't i don't smooth them out that like that and I use higher apertures in photography. Now when it doesn't click, somebody like me with sausage fingers doesn't really like it because I, I'm gonna thumble it up. I'm gonna just uck it up on, on some kind of sh photo shoot and it's gonna slip from 1.4 to 2.8 and the photo isn't gonna look like I want it to look. And on the Viltrox there is something that is sort of a signature move for Viltrox about now and it is the USB port right there just so you can update your lens on the go wherever on your laptop just plug it in and update it now I know that was an ugly cut to totally a different thing that is me taking coffee drinking coffee but hear me out, I just want to talk to you about Valhalla Selection. Just to clarify, this isn't sponsored by Valhalla Selection. Valhalla Selection is a coffee company and I just love the coffee these guys produce and I support them 100% on what they're doing. They closed down their shop a while back, but they're opening it up again in June and they're taking orders right now. Now, if you're a coffee enthusiast like me or you just love coffee, I highly suggest checking them out. Their coffee is named after realms in North mythology like Alfheim being their house blend or Musfel Musfelheim being their dark roast. Musfelheim, that's a, that's a hard word to say. Now if you're running out of coffee, this is a sign. Go check out the link down below and if you're gonna order something, remember to use the code demo 10 to get 10% off of your orders. Like I said, this isn't sponsored in any way. I just wanna support them and by ordering the coffee and using the modern you just get 10% off that's it let's get back to the video now the 23 millimeter is a 35 millimeter full frame equivalent and it is one of the most popular lenses out there people love to use it for street photography for landscape photography for portrait photography and usually it's even a fixed lens on fixed cameras so you can't change any other lenses it's just a 30 
0.5 or the 23 millimeter lens that you got on there. Now this lens is just one step away from amazing. The 1.4 gives you awesome bokeh, awesome separation from your subject. If you look closely, it gets pretty interesting on the edge of the frames. I really like that. The pictures usually on the sensor are pretty sharp, but on wide open on, in 1.4, you can usually see some chromatic aberration but that's just something that I usually tell myself that it is a characteristic of a lens, of some kind of lens, of, of older lenses, of newer lenses, of third-party lenses. These things are characteristics. They can be adjusted in post. If not, then it's just there and it's a characteristic. Also on 1.4, you can see some vignetting, but for a fast lens like this, with fast autofocus, snappy autofocus, taking fast, fast shots, you just, it's it's pretty minimal usually when you're buying a third party lens that's fast like this it, it is pretty noticeable now like I said the autofocus on this is snappy it is really snappy in photography I really like it that it just grabs onto the target you can just take those shots and something's gonna turn out fine I don't really I'm not telling you to go and go pray and spray but still it is awesome that it just snaps on I don't know what's going on I'm burping but it, it is still an awesome thing to have. Out of the focus, I've never seen any breathing and there's no focus hunting, searching, anything like that. Like I said, it just snaps on and that's one reason why I love this lens. All in all, this lens is gonna rock your socks off because if you think about it, the Fujifilm 23mm f1.4 costs about eight to 900 bucks new. This costs about 300 bucks. So for the same price, you could actually get two lenses. You could get this and 33mm that I'm gonna do a video later, so stick around. But yeah, you can get two lenses with the same price and you'll even spare about a hundred bucks. So keep that in mind. But these lenses, Viltrox lenses, Viltrox is my new to go third party lens. Something that I highly suggest, something that I highly love. Gonna be using them later. Hope you liked all the shots you saw, all the examples you saw. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Live for the story.